So after even more drama surrounding Metro Exodus, the creator of the Metro franchise finally speaks out on the move from Metro Exodus from Steam to the Epic Games Store. He clarifies everything, and this is what happened. Let's get into it. Skip it a button, that up. So again, in case you missed some of this story with Metro Exodus, I have to give you the Cliff Notes version, which before I started talking about this, I actually paused doing the video and looked it up. I guess Cliff Notes still exist. I'm shocked because in 2019, they're kind of an antiquated way of, of getting a summary of a book. There's many other ways to do it now, but I, I guess they evolved with the times. But back, back in my day, oh my God, I actually really said it and meant it and didn't say it sarcastically, but it's true. Back when I was a kid in school, especially high school, Cliff Notes, because it's summarized very long big books are probably the reason I passed high school with a decent GPA. If there's any teachers that watch my videos, I'm sorry. But anyway, Cliff Notes time for the whole Metro Exodus story. So here's the thing. Metro Exodus was originally pre-orderable for a very long time on Steam. No big deal. It's a PC game. It's a multi-plat game. It's also coming to the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4. I just did something really awkward with my tongue, but that's okay. We're going to keep it in the take. All right, cool. You know, it, it was on, it's a PC game. Most PC games to this day, even with competition, go to Steam. Well, out of nowhere, just a few weeks before the game is supposed to launch, um, it was announced that they're removing Metro Exodus from Steam. If you already pre-ordered it, you're fine. You're still going to be able to download it and play it. And as a matter of fact, say you just got the vanilla version of the game, Metro Exodus, and didn't get the whole DLC bundle, you'll be able to still purchase that if you already pre-ordered Metro Exodus on Steam. But from that moment on, you could no longer pre-order Metro Exodus on Steam. It was a timed exclusive for one year on the Epic game store and the reason why is because there's much better revenue shares on epic the epic game store it's 88 percent for all developers and publishers whereas steam has a tiered thing where if you it starts off 70 30 if you get 10 million dollars of revenue it goes to 75 25 75 for the publisher slash developer 25 for steam and if you hit 50 million dollars in revenue it's uh Steam only takes 20% and the developers get 80%. So from the get-go, you're getting a better revenue share. And of course, there was an announcement made by Deep Silver that, oh, we're doing this because it, it's better for gamers and we could pass the cost savings on to gamers, which no, they just want to make a better revenue share and put more money in their pockets, which they're not wrong for. But the whole PR thing that they came out with was just like, blah, 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 blah. We're trying to nicely say that we want more money. And again, that's okay, but that's why it was done. But now at first, I was on the side of Deep Silver slash Koch Media, who were the ones who made this decision. And I was like, you know what? This is how capitalism is, man. Man, Steam needs some fire under their ass. They really haven't had any competition. They're like the YouTube, basically, of digital distribution. And now the Epic Game Store is really going to give them a run for their money. But a lot of the comments I saw, and you guys know I don't bend to comments. If I have an opinion, even if it's widely unpopular, I stick to it if I truly believe in it. But what a lot of people were annoyed at wasn't the fact that it was a timed exclusive on the Epic Game Store, is that it was on Steam, everything was hunky-dory, then out of nowhere, now magically it's a timed exclusive for one year on the Epic Game Store. That's what annoyed a lot of people, and I'm like, you know what, you're right. Look, man, capitalism, rah, 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 if another company goes straight to the Epic Game Store and says, look, it's a timed exclusive or it's an exclusive on the Epic Game Store, it's not going to Steam, hey... That means Steam guys to step their game up, no pun intended, and they got to get better. But the way it was done by Deep Silver and Koch Media was just crappy. It sucked. It wasn't the way it should have been done. Now, the creator of the Metro franchise, Dmitry Glukowski, I think I said his last name right. I missed this, and this happened like a week ago. Um, there was a lot of drama surrounding something that he said, where initially his translated Instagram post made it seem like he had a lot of disdain for 
Metro Exodus moving from Steam and being a time exclusive on the Epic Game Store. And this was the original translation. He said, Steam was not enough for our Steam train. Supposedly, he said, that's the key word. And then he responded to a fan saying that moving the game from the Steam Store to the Epic Game Store was killing the franchise or going to kill the franchise. And he responded with, I am standing by and watching it be killed. But someone screwed up and translated it wrong. <laughs> Totally wrong. Like, it had to be done on purpose kind of wrong. What he actually said was this. Why don't you just buy it on Epic, the Epic Game Store? People are trying to find excuses to download the game for free. You could, for example, pirate the game, which I semi-agree with. I'm sure people are truly annoyed, but I'm also sure that there's people that would have just pirated the goddamn game no matter what. I know some of those people. And then he said, why? I think Epic will do everything to help. And I did not have an impression that Steam gives a shit, which I don't agree with because Steam released a statement on the Metro Exodus page saying we're not happy with this decision and so on and so forth. I've read that a thousand times, but that's just a very, very summarized version of it. They were, they were annoyed because it's a big release and very shortly before the game was supposed to be released, now you can't buy it or pre-order it on Steam. And I'm sure that Gaben, his nipples were sad. Not his face, just his nips. They were crying or lactating, one of the two. Well, due to all the misinformation that was out there about what Dimitri said regarding Metro Exodus leaving Steam and going over to the Epic Game Store, Dimitri on Instagram released a statement and this is what he had to say. Take a look. Hello, I'm Dmitry Glukhovsky, the author of the Metro books and uh, the creator of the Metro franchise. For more than 20 years, I've been working to bring that story to other different media, including the video games, thanks to the support, help, and heroic efforts from the part of 4A. Their efforts were truly outstanding, and so is the outcome of their efforts. The new Metro Exodus video game coming out in just a week from now. I'm very sorry about those of you who wanted and expected it to release on Steam and who were misled by the moves by the publishers. But I understand that the publisher fully and uniquely financed the development of these games, so I trust them with the correctness of this solution. Again, we're all very sorry that you're hurt. We just hope that you will not betray us, just as we are stay always faithful to you, bringing the uncompromised story and uncompromised quality of experience. Thank you very much. So do I feel that, I, I feel two things. I feel he, he, Dimitri was genuinely trying to clarify his stance on the game moving to the Epic Game Store. But do I also feel, of course, that he's damage controlling because he wants to make sure that his franchise, whether it be the books or the games, remain successful? Of course. Look, Dimitri and to the 4A Games team, people aren't, at least I hope anyway they have the common sense. They're not mad at you. I, of course, this was a move by the publishers who are Deep Silver and Koch Media. And they're the ones who were like, hey, we can make more money if we put the game exclusive for a year on the Epic Game Store. We'll get 88% of the revenue in our pockets immediately. No tears like there is on Steam. Let's do it. But again, like I said... I don't even think people would have been bothered. You know, I like I said, my concern is still very valid. I don't like the fragmentation of the digital distribution platform on PC with PC gaming. I don't want to have to have 55 different installers, you know, or different digital distribution softwares on my PC to play PC games. That's going to get very annoying. But I don't think people would have been annoyed again if the game from the beginning was an exclusive like it didn't just magically jump over from steam and out no longer you can no longer get on steam you can just get in the epic game store i don't people would have had there would have been a smaller portion of people would have been i only want it on steam and nothing else which there's nothing you could do about those people but the way it was handled dimitri was very poorly and that's what people are annoyed at and that's what i think is wrong about the whole situation to future developers and publishers who like it's very appealing to them that they get a bigger cut of the revenue instantly you got to make your games instantly either an exclusive or timed exclusive from the get-go you can't do moves like this where it's like oh it's on steam now it's not on steam sorry now you got to go somewhere else to get it 
because as you see, it makes people very angry. And I'm sure no matter what Dimitri says or Deep Silver says or Koch Media says or what the 4A dev team says, yes, this is going to hurt the sales of Metro Exodus on PC or on the Epic Game Store because there's some people like, hey, you, you, you pull this out of nowhere and I'm very angry and they're just not going to buy the game. And it is what it is. And no matter how many statements you release, you're not going to change people's minds. Learn in the future, Deep Silver and other developers and publishers out there. This is not the way to do business. Learn a lesson from what Deep Silver and Koch Media did. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, congratulations. If you made it to the end of the video, you should subscribe to Review Tech USA so you can hear me blabber on some more. Also, too, starting this month, I will be live streaming solely on Twitch. I'll have a link to my Twitch channel below in the description. And last but not least, make sure you click that like button. It helps out the show big time. See you guys in the next video.